Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Second address, 6 and 55. I'm finna show you something. Yeah, he did. As, as, ah, there we go. Now we finna talk about it now. Based on that statement, because we all been to church. We heard the doctrine, what they say in church. We all equal. God made everybody. He did. But the Bible tells you that he had a favorite would you believe that god has a favorite people everybody's not his favorite people we finna show you this read this this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54 and after these adam also whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures so wait god made adam right adam was the first man but what they don't tell you about Adam is saying Adam was a lord. Creatures. When you a lord over some, what are you? You in charge, a king. So when the head, so when Adam was made, God set Adam over everything. So the birds, the grass, the different type, the different types of trees, and Adam named all that. Adam's job was to set everybody in order. Read. Of him come we all. Everybody come from Adam. They always say that. And says, did I get your name? What's your name? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jones. Jones, okay? Yeah. Gary. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. 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 Eric. And Will. They always bring up that everybody came from Adam and we all equal. When we start saying, well, what about what's happening to black people? What about what's happening to Hispanic people? Oh, all lives matter. That's when they bring that up. Everybody do come from Adam, but it's a distinction. Read. And the people also whom thou have chosen. Did y'all hear that? Read that one more time. And of the people also whom thou has chosen. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Everybody come from Adam. And the people also. Wait. And what? And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. Wait a minute. Everybody come from Adam, but then God got a separate group of people that he chose. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, everybody come from Adam, but God got a favorite people. So my question, who is those favorite people? Who is God favorite people? That's the question. That's something that we got to know. Deuteronomy 76. Who are God's favorite people? Contrary to what we've been told, because that's what we've been told. We all equal. We all the same. God does not say that. God says that the Israelites are above all people. You, 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 you. I know what they put on the news. I know what they say about us. But God says we are above all races of people. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Let's not forget, some of y'all just walked up, but some of y'all been here. This is the people that he talking about. He not talking about nobody else when he say you're holy, you're great, you're above. He's only talking about the people on this sign, which make up me, which make up you, which make up you, which make up you. He said, you're a holy people. When you're holy, you can't do what everybody else does. When you're holy, you can't allow yourself to be a drug addict. When you're holy, you cannot allow yourself to be a gangbanger that's beneath you. When you're holy, you cannot make children and not take care of them. When you're holy, you cannot open your legs to every man and be a baby mama. That's beneath us. 
we got to stop being what they portray on movies. They make those movies based off of stereotypes. But God said in the beginning we weren't supposed to be like that. Keep reading. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. My sister, how old are you? You 14. The Bible says you are special. I know when I was coming up, I didn't hear you're special, you're great. I heard you're a gangbanger, you're nothing. You're going to be a statistic. Prison to school pipeline. But the Bible says otherwise. If you don't remember nothing else, remember, God says that you're special. You understand me? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I didn't make that up. Did y'all hear that? This is out the King James Bible. Who all see they self on this sign right here? Just raise your hand. The Bible said that these people on this sign is above all races of people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Do y'all understand right. that? We got to stop being what they say we are and be what God called us to be. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number. Than so it said he didn't choose us because there was a lot of us. Read. Because you were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand. He said he didn't choose us because we was the greatest. He said because he wanted to put his love on us that he promised from our forefather. You heard of Abraham? That's our forefather. That's one of the men that we come from. These 12 names you see right here was 12 sons that Jacob had. Jacob's father is Isaac. Isaac's father is Abraham. God made a promise to Abraham that I'm going to bless all the children that come from you. We are God's children. That's why these things written right here is still in effect. But remember the question that I asked. How do we become these stereotypes? What caused us to become these stereotypes was sin. 2 Maccabees 7 and 32. Because we can hear that we Israelites all day long. We God's chosen all day long, walk off, going on about our day. No, it's things in this Bible that God want us to do. Do y'all understand? You got children? You have children. Nieces, nephews, right? This is your daughter here. You have children, sir. What we talking about is who the chosen people of God are, which are us. The Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But it don't just stop there. You chosen, all right, I'm going on about my business. It's certain things that we have to do that's required by God. Some of these things he asked of us, if we did it, our community wouldn't be like this. Read that. Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 32. So the question that I posed to everybody, I said, how did we become these stereotypes we are? Sin. Exactly. But sin is the ingredient. Sin is the reason why we fail to this point. When you read the Bible, we was kings, we was royalty, we ruled the earth. How do we get to this? Because of sin. Read. Second Matthews chapter 7 verse 32. For we suffer. For we what? For we suffer. For we what? For we suffer. Are not these people on this side suffering, my brother? Come down here and look. What's your name too? What's your name? Derek. Are these people on this side not suffering? American blacks, yeah. Yes, I would say you're damn right. They're suffering all over the world. You go on the reservations, the Native Americans, they suffering. They got high suicide rates, high alcoholicism. Majority of their parents become alcoholics. The young girls are being snatched going missing, not found on the Native American reservations. Native Americans are gangbanging. Blacks are gangbanging. Chicago, the gangbang city. But why do all these things happen? I want the Bible to say it to y'all. Read verse 32. For we suffer because of our sin. Because of what? Our sin. Is it because we don't have a college education? Our sin. Is it because we don't know the right people? 
Our sin, is it because we not smart? Our sin, is it because we don't know how to fight? Our sin, sin. Do y'all understand what the Bible just said? We are suffering as a race of people because of sin. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Oh, you know what?